today we're breaking down two of the best young safeties in the league. It's Jamal Adams from the New York Jets and Derwin James of the Los Angeles Chargers. I think when you look at today's NFL, these guys are the perfect safeties for what defenses need to combat these explosive, very versatile offenses that the NFL is throwing at them. We're talking Derwin James and Jamal Adams, their ability to affect all three aspects of the offense. And let's check it out in Premium Stats 2.0, all a part of your PFF Elite Package. Currently right now, you throw it on the 50% filter. That means they've got a ton of snaps that they've played. Jamal Adams and Derwin James, numbers two and three in our safety grades. Here's what I want to highlight though. Not only do they have the great overall grade, they're in the blue, second and th first and second year safeties grading at, at an elite level, but they're doing it all over the place, all three phases, whether it's run defense, they're both in the green. As pass rushers, that's a blitz, they're blitzing when they're safeties, but they're both in the blue there, we'll talk about that in a second, and then in coverage, both in the blue, they are true every down safeties who can make an impact from various alignments. When we look at that pass rushing ability, I mean, Derwin James was essentially like an edge rusher at Florida State anyway. He has 16 pressures. Adams has 18. Safeties aren't really there to rush the passer, but when you have that ability to beat running backs in one-on-one -on -one as a blitzer, to play around the line of scrimmage, it just adds more versatility. So their ability to rush the passer from different angles, to play the run as box players, and then we'll break down their coverage ability. The thing that makes them special is that ability to have these high coverage grades from different alignments. We go over here to the coverage numbers, passer rating against, they're both under 60. Again, all part of your premium stats, 2.0 package as part of PFF Elite. You guys can see the entire breakdown. Let's, check, let's take a look at what they do from an alignment standpoint. Derwin James, where has he aligned so far this season? This is just from, this, this map is essentially, you know, where have they aligned? So forget the names for a second, but 149 snaps on the ball, almost where an edge defender would line up. 287 snaps at the linebacker level. 213 is a free safety. We've got pure strong safety, a couple uh, 17 snaps a corner, and 140 covering the slot. That type of versatility with the high grade. Again, that's what makes Derwin James special. And Jamal Adams, very similar. 240 at free safety, 324 at the linebacker level, bunch at the edge, in the slot, outside at corner. We'll watch him against Rob Gronkowski a little bit later on. 84 at strong safety. When we're talking about Derwin James and Jamal Adams, it's the multiple alignments and also, most importantly, good grading in all three important phases. Now let's check them out. As much as we love the run game, we love their ability to get after the quarterback, I want to check out Adams and Derwin James in coverage and show how they affect the game from these various alignments. All right, the thing that makes Jamal Adams and Derwin James so special is their ability to make plays all over the field in coverage from different alignments. Let's start with Jamal Adams. Let's check out this play against the Indianapolis Colts. He's going to be playing more of a too high safety type of alignment. We see Luck drop back to pass, and as Adams has done all season, making plays on the ball when the ball is in front of him. We'll pause it at the catch point here and see. He's starting from a too high safety alignment. He has to read the play, closes extremely quickly, and breaks up the pass. Jamal Adams is fantastic in those too high safety looks. And when you're able to make plays in multiple areas on the field, it just gives your defense some versatility. Now I want to go to a play against Rob Gronkowski and the New England Patriots. And I always like to say, you're not necessarily going to draft specifically to beat a team in your division. But when you're playing the Patriots, when you're trying to beat the Patriots year in, year out, sometimes you're drafting, a, you're drafting a Jamal Adams specifically to shut down a guy like Rob Gronkowski. Look at this tight coverage down the field. I know Gronk has not been the same player this season, but Jamal Adams has the ability to line up in man coverage against Gronk. He was 0 for 3 when targeted. Brady was 0 for 3 when targeting Gronk against Jamal Adams in this game, including this pass where Adams was in great position for an interception and Gronk actually had to break it up. We can let it run one more time and just see the position that Adams is in at the catch point. So this is man coverage, a completely different way, a completely different style from that first pass breakup that we saw against the Indianapolis Colts. And this is what Jamal Adams brings to the table, that ability to play man coverage against tight ends, to play a too high safety role and make plays on the ball in both of those alignments. All right, now let's take a look at Derwin James of the Chargers. 
pre-draft when we were looking at him, we said he is exactly what the NFL needs because of his ability to, much like Jamal Adams, make plays from various alignments. And I think the thing that makes James even more special is the fact that at Florida State, there were times where he was a designated pass rusher. The fact that he was playing essentially defensive end, yet in the NFL, he could play a traditional safety role, again, from all of these multiple alignments. Let's check out three plays where he is making plays on the ball from these various spots. Let's start with week one. It's his first game in the NFL going up against Patrick Mahomes, MVP candidate. Mahomes, as usual, gets outside the pocket, tries to make a big, big play down the field. Derwin James there to break it up. This was him playing in that deep safety role. And again, he didn't do this a ton at Florida State, but he's right there with De'Anthony Thomas. The throw's not bad. Now, if it's laid out there a little bit more, it could be, it could be a little ugly, but Derwin's got to make a play at the catch point, and he does a fantastic job of doing that. We're talking about a, a big guy here, a guy who's essentially a strong safety, able to make a play as a deep free safety on this play. Now let's go a little bit later in the season, going up against Jared Goff and the Rams. Red zone interception. Makes a great break on the ball, and you're going to see it even better on the replay. The thing I want to highlight here is just how much ground he has to close. Pause it right there. Check out his alignment right here. We've got an underneath receiver taking the coverage, but up top, he's in an off roll, off coverage roll, kind of a quarters look, and he has to man up from that off look with Gerald Everett, who is a very athletic tight end. And we can see now he's got to break on this ball to make the interception. This is where the incredible athleticism and ball skills come in as we let it run and see the break on the ball, the throw's a little bit late, but again, Derwin James with the ball skills to be able to go up and make the play. Probably should have stayed in the end zone, though, because he put the ball at the one-yard line. And then we see, uh, more recently, a few weeks ago, Big Ben Roethlisberger is going to throw one of the worst passes of the season. So this isn't all Derwin James, but the thing to highlight here, now he's in man coverage against McDonald, the tight end. He's going to give him a little bit of an inside release, but watch how quickly he closes the ground. Big Ben just lofts it up there. Derwin high points, it goes up and makes the play. It's an easy interception, but the thing to highlight here, we've seen him play deep safety, we've seen him play quarters, now we're seeing him play man coverage against a tight end, and a tight end that's having a pretty good season. Watch him close the ground, go up, make the play, and then make something happen after the catch. When we're talking about Derwin James, those ball skills that he didn't always need at Florida State because he was rushing the passer, he was playing in the box, but they've showed up at the NFL level. So much like Jamal Adams, Derwin James can make those plays all over the field from various alignments, and both of these guys bring great versatility to their respective defenses. It's the future of the NFL. As the offenses come out with slot receivers and tight ends that are all mismatch nightmares, when you have Jamal Adams, when you have Derwin James, those are the guys that you need to counteract what offenses are doing in today's NFL.